Okay. But first, a 2015 Tony Award winner for Best Musical is now showing at the Peace Center. It's Broadway's Fun Home. All right, that actually stands for something. We'll tell you what that is. It has a lot of people talking. Okay, and you know, Jennifer Martin, you know, she went ahead and caught up with the uh, lead actress just to take a look right here. I'll show you what is simple and true. Telling a story that will stay with audiences long after the curtain falls, the Broadway musical Fun Home is a show that critics are calling groundbreaking and unforgettable. I always say that it's a story about a family that looks perfect on the outside, but has a lot of things inside the family that they should be talking about and aren't. Based on Alison Bechtel's best-selling graphic memoir, which chronicles her coming-of-age story, in 2015 it won five Tony Awards, including Best Musical. It's based on a book called Fun Home, which is short for Funeral Home. The Bechtel family, which was a real family, and they lived in a small town in Pennsylvania and uh, with some secrets that they should probably have been talking about more than they did. Playing Allison is Kate Schindel, who won Miss America in 1998 and went on to pursue a career on Broadway. I've always been really attracted to stories of women finding their power. Caption, my dad and I were nothing alike. In the story, we see Allison at three different ages as she unravels the mysteries of her childhood and sees her parents through grown-up eyes. One of the things that we find out toward the beginning of the show is that Allison, Allison's father was gay and he didn't admit it to anyone. And it festered, you know, it festered for a lot of Allison's life and he died when she was in college and the family believed it was a suicide. So so the thing that Allison's asking herself when she's in her 40s, which is the age at which I play her, was basically, you know, was this my fault? It's a story that has changed lives across the nation and sparked conversation in families. There was a, a young woman in Charlotte who said after the show that, you know, her father, she and her father had been very into music together and then her father died and she hadn't been able to sing since her father died and, and coming to the show she felt like she may be able to reconnect with music. Kate says she feels its message is an important one that she's eager to help share. It's that this made me feel seen in a way that I don't often feel seen and if theater can do that then I don't know what else there is. For Scene, I'm Jennifer Martin. When Marcus went he said he loved it. It was, it was one of those that you leave talking I about. Bet. That's you just know? a heavy topic and it's a well needed topic that people are talking about nowadays. That's exactly I'm looking forward to take to get a look at that. All right, we well, got a couple days. It ends on the Sunday. So okay, if you want to go, okay. it's at the Peace Center, go get your tickets right now.